Hey guys, today my review is for Teen Titans Earth 1, Volume 1, written by Jeff Lemire with artwork by Terry and Rachel Dodson. For those who do not know, the Earth 1 comic books are set in an alternative reality from that of the New 52 DC comic books. Very similar to what Marvel were doing with their Ultimate Comic Books line, only difference is Ultimate Comic Books came out in monthly issues, but with the Earth 1 comic books, the complete stories came out once or twice a year in hardback. Teen Titans usually consists of sidekicks of DC heroes, but as Earth-1 is relatively young, it focuses on standalone characters like Raven, Starfire, Terra, Cyborg, Jericho, and Beast Boy. The story starts with the crash of an alien spacecraft. Some go in to investigate, but it turns out to possibly be a nightmare that Raven is having. In this incarnation of Teen Titans, Raven is Navajo, Native American, and not the daughter of a demon as she was in the pre or new 52 books. Her grandfather asks her what's wrong, she says it's nightmares, he says it's not nightmares that she's having visions, he used to have visions like her but he stopped when she was born. We then meet Garfield Logan, Beast Boy, who's been transferred to another school because he's a genius and he has gay parents which I think should have been explored a little bit more. We then meet Tara, whose dad left when she was young and her mom is an alcoholic deadbeat. She is dating Victor Stone who in this incarnation the gender of his parent has been reversed which I think is absolutely brilliant. We end up meeting Joseph Wilson who is the son of Slade Wilson aka Deathstroke from the DC comics. Their powers manifest simultaneously as they chant I'm Sapphire I need help. They get together to try and investigate why they have the powers and why they were chanting but encountering obstacles in the way. The story was intriguing but there was no hook to draw me into it or the characters. The artwork was passable but I don't like what they did with Victor. The artwork for Victor was a bit stereotype of black kid from the 90s. I'm not big into Teen Titans so I don't have a frame of reference for it but I do like the family dynamic it did have for better or worse. Hopefully the story and the characters will improve by volume 2. Don't get me wrong, the story was alright but the characters did not really interact with each other. We'd not even get to see them as a team by the end of the story. It's very frustrating having to wait a year or two to read the following volumes of the Earth 1 comic books because it takes that long for them to put out. And it's very frustrating because you have to read it from the beginning again to catch up with what's going on. I kind of wish that they put out the books every six months rather than make us wait so long for them to come out. It's worth reading to make up your mind on whether it's good or not, but I'll also say get it when the price is low or borrow it from a friend. Don't spend so much money in getting it. There are no Easter eggs in this book from the pre or New 52 books that I'm aware of. However, I don't read the New 52 books either way. I did like the gender swap of Dr. Stone, but they should have done more with it. Her and Tara's mom are bitches, but Tara is the most annoying character in the book in my opinion. And that's my review for Teen Titans Earth 1 Volume 1. I hope you liked it. I tried to keep it as minimal as possible. I do eventually intend to review Superman Earth 1 Volumes 1, 2 and 3, then Batman Earth 1 Volumes 1 and 2. So please keep an eye out for that. They recently announced Wonder Woman Earth 1, the original graphic novel, coming out in April 12th, 2016 by Grant Morrison. So it should be quite interesting because he's a really good writer. You should be seeing the cover art of the book right now which depicts Princess Diana being put in bondage for one reason or another. I don't know why, but back when she was a new character in DC Comics, she was always being put under bondage. Maybe somebody in DC Comics had a kink. Thanks for watching and please remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.